So here's uh, one of the experiments I did recently for my blog. I gave a recurrent neural network, character level recurrent neural network, a list of paint colors, about 7,000 colors from Sherwin Williams, and I asked it to generate some more like that. And these ones are kind of like that, but I don't think Turdly is going to be the 2019 color of the year. And so, uh, you know, it's actually tough to get rid of a problem like this. You can come up with a no list and you can say, okay, you may not use any words on this list, please. And you can be as creative as you want, trying to think of all the words it might possibly generate. And then you still end up, you cannot imagine all the different ways in which an algorithm is going to get around you and do something unexpected. And so this is, you know, this is an algorithm that has matched has managed to match the surface appearance of a paint color, but is kind of missing the deeper point about what words mean and which words you should use. And here's another example. Uh, I trained this, an, uh, another uh, neural network to generate cookbook recipes. So I gave it 100 megabytes of cookbook recipes, said, OK, generate more. And it managed to do ingredients lists and directions and all that. But if you start reading the directions, you get the idea that perhaps this uh, algorithm doesn't even understand what water is, or that these directions are doing something to ingredients. And so uh, here's an, another example, this time uh, image recognition. So this is Azure's API. I put in one of my vacation photos. And this is a really impressive job, actually. Not only did it see the sheep, it also knew exactly which hills on the Isle of Skye I was standing on at the time. Uh, but something interesting happens if you look at the picture on the right. I have photoshopped out every single sheep from this picture, and yet they're still there in the caption and in the tags. So what's going on here? I mean, is this a homeopathic sheep? Does it somehow maintain the memory of sheep that used to be there? Uh, the answer is more simple than that. It, whenever it sees a landscape of this type, this particular algorithm will hallucinate sheep. And, <laughs> you know, so here's another couple of examples we've got on the left. We've got a giraffe hallucinated as well. Uh, over on the right, we've got sheep again, but we've also got a rainbow. And so this gives you a clue that this particular algorithm has maybe not quite understood what sheep are. It does not have an abstract concept of sheep, thinks it's maybe a quality of the landscape, and is maybe doing the same thing with rainbows.